Hello, friends. Happy Friday night. Her husband walks in here right as I'm going live. Dude, I'm hanging out with my friends. He came down for cake. Will you grab me while you're in there a pop? Hi, how you doing, everybody? You know, I'm so professional. That's how I started my uh, Friday Night Live is talking to my husband. So how you guys doing? Are you ready to make some cards? Are you ready to make some cards? Hi, Heather. How are you? Thank you. I'm all set up now with my Diet Dr. Root Beer. Diet Dr. Root Beer. <laughs> I just said Diet Dr. Root Beer. It's a Diet a and W. It is not half a and W and half um, Diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Diet Dr. Root Beer. That's the kind of nut we're going to have tonight. So let's see how it goes. So how you guys doing? Did you have a good week? Um, I had a good week. I, I just don't know where time is going. I, who else is with me? I have no clue. I woke up. I've been waking up very early because my brain turns on and I have a humongous to-do list. And I did check things off the to-do list today, but um, not enough. Not enough is what I want to say. Hi, Paula. How are you? Hi, Jared Randall. How are you? Hi, Kim. Shauna, how you guys doing? Kara, hi Lou, time is flying. And hi Julie, how are you? So lots of friends are here. Hello Nicole, who just sent me a text that I saw but couldn't answer before I went on that yelled at me for buying cut files from her store. Everyone go who has an electronic die cutting machine and check out justnextstudio.com. She has amazing cut files that I downloaded, but I need help because with everything I need help and I couldn't figure out how to ungroup it so that I could cut them. So I will be cutting some flowers that I uh, downloaded and hearts from just Nick studio, uh, N I C K I think right Nick um, N I C K post it just Nick studio, post the link. Uh, hi Katrina. I'm going to be seeing my friend Katrina in Texas in a little bit of time. So, Anyway, she was yelling at me that I bought them, but of course I'm going to buy them. I'm going to totally support her, her business, even though I was just in there quickly and I purchased two cut files. So she might be able to buy herself a Snickers. But, you know, Nick, I'm always here to support you. I love you. Um, hello, friends. I'm sorry if I'm missing stuff. It's, it's going to be that kind of night. Just know that. Um, I feel like my brain is fuzzy tonight so we will have fun um doing the things but just bear with me because it's that kind of vicky night and hello to my friend kari kaplan uh right before i came on here i got something in the mail from you and thank you i needed it i was i was having a rough day today i don't know why i called my mommy <laughs> My mother always gets it, poor Sheila. And I'm like, I, I'm i blue today, mom. So I'm going to call you and just uh, complain for a while. And she always just listens. So uh, uh, much better afternoon. But yeah, the beginning of it, right? Hello, ladies. I'm just watching tonight. I'm tired. I hear you, scrapbook sister. I hear you, right? Those are days. There are days. So I just, and Poppy, I saw your message and I slipped it in the envelope. So I went and I found one. Hello, Darlene as well. Are you guys together? Uh, I got to watch because I know that my mouth and words are not going to work tonight. Um, my friend Darlene is here and her um, awesome husband has uh, been fighting cancer and is doing very well. So for everybody out there, let's give our prayers and uh, positive vibes and all of that to Mike. Uh, awesome guy and is doing better. So uh, I see I haven't seen you guys on here. So um, sending you lots of love. And if Mike is around you, hey, buddy, how you doing? I hope you're feeling better. So yes, have you been on HSN yet? No, Tuesday. I'll be on on Tuesday. So yes, right? Yes, I will be on Tuesday. So anyway, things that we want to talk about. You guys have been messaging me about the leftover travel kits from the cruise. Guess what? I kitted them all. I just have to finish doing the shaker 
pieces. So everyone who messaged me about that, I will be emailing you and giving you first opportunity for those kits and then I'm going to post them. I also am going to post trying tomorrow, um, but they won't ship for a week because I leave for Utah for three days and then I'm back on Wednesday. Um, the tag book that I'm going to be doing as our end of the summer bash for Sweet Rush, we're going to do a tag book uh, free class. I have I don't not very many of them, but maybe 15 of those kits. So I will be posting those. The grab boxes are next, but friends, you have no clue how much work this all takes. So all the boxes are built. And when I get home, I'm going to be doing those. So my mother said, don't talk about it until they're done. And I agree. So as soon as they're posted, I'll let you guys know. But there's tons. It's I've just been working nonstop. So it's all coming, right? All coming. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that 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 all the things are coming for are you coming on the cruise with me in october guess what all of those kits are kitted i have did i've created the private facebook group so i started putting everybody's email in a newsletter i will be reaching out to you guys so we can get that started you will be getting it's not <laughs> cruising crops fault i haven't supplied like the tool list and and what you need to pack yet but you know that can change as we get closer because I haven't created the projects for that yet. But all the information is coming for that. Okay, so lots of things are coming. We're doing all the things. Um, I'm here working. So it's just as I can, this one Vicky, one man band can get to all of the things. It will be up and ready to go. So you're cruising with me in Alaska. That's going to be fun, Kimberly. We're gonna have a good time. So any questions before we get started or anything you wanna share with me? Um, Cause we like to do that on our Friday nights, right? I'm getting excited for the cruise. Me too, the kit's beautiful. Um, so those are kitted. There will be a couple extra of those as well, but I'm not gonna be posting those for a while, but just know that there that one is the new uh, Simple Stories travel line is for that one. And then the other one was uh, the Maggie Holmes. So lots of things. Question. My kids were trying to follow along with last week's Friday Night Live. The paint seemed to slide rather than roll. Uh, the brayer definitely not rolling. Too much paint, and it could be the brayer, but too much paint, I'd say. Pick it up and move it around the plate. It literally is onion skin layer. Uh, that is what I'd say. If there is too much paint, uh, your brayer will like slide, like as if you slip on the ice. So that's what I would say, too much paint. Uh, the Tim Holtz roller, is that why? Or too uh, low quality paint? It could be a combination of all of those things. If the paint is not, is like a more fluid, uh, it is a little bit harder to roll. The uh, brayers that are on the wire, rather than the hard plastic base sometimes can be a little finicky. You just kind of have to play with it. But most of the time, Cara, it's too much paint. Um, or like you were saying, if your paint's more fluid, it could be that you need a lot less, right? Just less is more add rather than try to take away. So always have your sheet beside you. So as you're brayering, if you find it's slipping around, take that brayer brayer it off on your sheet on the side and then put it back on. But it once you get it, once you get it and you're just playing along, it gets a lot better. Uh, the Alaska Cruise is sold out, uh, Carrie. That one went really fast, but you can get on the waiting list. I don't know how long it is, but everybody that's been following for a while have been waiting for the Alaska Cruise. We canceled one, um, have a hard time booking them because they always sell out so quickly. So uh, it is full, but that could always change. People have circumstances where they have to cancel and it's not until uh, next July. So definitely get on the waiting list and anything could happen, right? Anything could happen. Um, how was Dev's birthday celebration? Yes, my baby girl turned, my baby girl turned 19. Uh, we went to go out for dinner there were eight of us. We got to the restaurant and it was closed. 
made a reservation. It was closed. Um, so we hopped in the car and went to another Mexican restaurant and had a great time, had some pictures of margaritas and, and uh, the best salsa. It was a really good time. So she's off now. It's her other friend's birthday uh, celebration tonight. So she's doing all the things, living her best life. My baby girl living her best life. Um, it's good. Hi, Stacy from Texas. Uh, so happy to see you here. How are you? Oh my goodness, a hundred million years, right? Hello, friend. And then I saw Puerto Rico. How much uh, are the boxes? Are you talking about shipping? Um, US is flat rate 25 Canadian. Puerto Rico costs me about $36 to ship it. But it's flat rate 25 Canadian, which when you just, it's uh, uh, subtract about 30 um, percent at least. And that's your exchange rate for anything that you see, uh, for the U S I get people will message me and ask me like what all your prices in Canadian. What is that in U S it's really easy. Just Google search and do whatever the price. So 85 Canadian to U S and it will tell you what the rate is. Um, but yeah, that hopefully helps. Okay. Let's flip it around and do the things tonight. So, um, tonight, I'm going to be making cards. I remember I said, guys, do if do some homework. It'll be worth your while to play with the gel plate. And I sat down and did a whole like, bunch more gel plate prints. So I'm going to go through those tonight. Um, and hi, Shelly. How are you? Shelly had some dental work today. So uh, the thing that got me through is knowing that I'd see your creative. Ah, hello, sweet friend. Just get that Advil in. It helps with the swelling rate and the discomfort um, after that kind of work. Uh, and just rest. Don't talk too much, right? Just rest your jaw. Uh, you just bought the 8x10 gel plate. I love it. And I didn't realize I'll have to add to my store. I have a box of 12x12s. So I will add those to VickiBooten.com as well. Um, but a lot of you guys, you love my shirt. It's Zara. It's, I think the only thing that will fit me in here, in there. <laughs> but I got the t-shirt on. Um Yay! Which model and brand printed? Which, what is the question? Which model and brand printed? I'm not sure what that means. So yeah, I might have missed part of the question already. So just let me know. So I'm going to flip the camera and we're going to get started. Do you love my earrings tonight? I have to share these with you because I love them. Uh, I bought these with my friend Lael and I finally found something that they matched with tonight. So very excited about my little earrings tonight. But um, I saw your name on HSN for next Tuesday, the 16th. What are you going to show? My Christmas line. So yeah, I will be on there. So let's flip printer, you recommend. Uh, there's lots of great printers for your photos out there. But the one that my go-to is the Epson Picture Mate 400. I love it, right? I love it. So um, it's the one I use. I just saw Allie just posted something. Edwards, if I just assume everyone knows. Allie Edwards just posted something on Instagram today. And that printer was in the little video. She loves it as well. It is an amazing printer. Okay, let's flip the camera. And I'm going to go through my prints. I grabbed some punches tonight. Punches. I have some dies. And I have some stamps and some stencils. And we are going to make, and I prepped card bases for two slimline, one five by seven, and two A2s. And we'll see. We'll see what we get done. But that is my plan for tonight, okay? So let's flip the camera. Here we go. And I'm going to go through the prints that I made. And I'm very excited about them. Can you tell? I'm very excited about them. I'm going to be seeing my friend Kari. We're getting together in September. I'm very excited about that. And um, hi, Natalie. So Natalie and I were on a video call today. <laughs> and then I got a knock at the door and I was chatting for well over an hour. So sorry, Natalie. Then I had no time left because mm -hmm. my family expected me to make supper like they do. So I made ribs tonight in the Instapot. It is the best thing. All you do is take the membrane off the back of your ribs, 
season them up, throw them in the Instapot for 18 minutes. And then I just uh, put the barbecue sauce on, throw them in the oven just to crisp them up. So good. It's not a busy thing. It's just, like I said, I, I really wish I could get 20 more hours in my day and then I get all of the things done, right? And then I get all of the things done. So yeah, ribs and then I make, I take a head of cauliflower and I chop it up into big florets and I microwave it for about four minutes and then I melt in a bowl of butter and I add turmeric, garlic powder and a little bit of cumin and then I brush it onto the cauliflower and put that in my air fryer and uh, oh my goodness. So that's what we have for supper tonight. Uh, ribs and air fryer um, cauliflower. And then Devin puts like a, a, a jalapeno lime aioli on it. And it's very good. So if you want like quick meals, those are th those two are super quick, super quick. Oh, and your ribs. I put in the bottom of the Instapot orange juice or tonight was pineapple juice. So you just put it in the bottom, like a cup, and then that will um, uh, add delicious flavor and makes your ribs nice and tender. How you taught your son to cook. Yeah, ribs are so quick, right? Because otherwise they take forever to, um, to uh, bake in the oven, right? So we do that and the kids love them. So that was, that's my little, if you need a quick Friday night meal, that's what we do. Rich, of course, had to have this rice, but um, I don't eat that. So I just made the cauliflower and Devin and I were quite happy. Okay, want to see what I did this week? So if you um, joined me last Friday, you will know I didn't do this one. <laughs> this is new. And then I have to show you. So from this print, I... Uh, put the fluorescent or neon uh, Vicky Booten texture paste on the plate and then put a stencil down, lifted the pink from inside of that and then filled it with a whole bunch of color. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's metallic gold. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. I don't know if I'm gonna cut this apart tonight, but I had to show it to you. And I wanna show you, look at, remember what I said, like always have paper handy. I'm going to grab it because I was flattening them. So when I was working on this, I just kept printing. Like, look it. These were just the extras that I kissed between the sheets of paper to clean my stencil off. So when I was done the gel plate printing and the stencil has all that paint on it, I misted it with water. I put it between two sheets of paper and I brayered it. And so these prints are not from the jelly plate. They're actually from the dirty stencil. So make sure when you're going through, you always have scrap because look at this magic. You would have wiped off or put down the sink, right? Look it. So one side was gold, right? What I was pressing out. But these are great for making cards or uh, cutting apart and using for mats. But isn't that fun? So these were all just from that one dirty stencil. All these prints from that one dirty stencil. So you would have just wiped it off, right? You know, when we're doing it live and I'm running back and forth to the sink, well, I wasn't doing it live, so I had time to fart around and look at, I would have wiped that all away. I have to show you too, I had done another print. I was doing some 12 by 12 just because I felt like it or a bigger stencil actually. And look at, this is just cleaning the stencil off. That was what the paint that was left on the stencil. And then I made these prints and look at, now I have perfect backgrounds to do some layouts or mats or one layer before I do some other stuff. Funny. Look at that one. And I love it with the gold on there. And it's the back of my foundations paper. So I thought that would be fun to share that I was messing around. And instead of washing off the stencil, just by 
putting misting it with some water and adding some pressure with a brayer you can totally clean it up on some sheets that you have on the side so i did this one look at i went through and did, did some very tone on tone ones that would be great that we can we're going to die cut from them we could use it for the base of a card we can tear strips out of it so not everything has to be this amazing masterpiece you want to have some that are just really basic that you can layer and do some fun things with again just added three colors on the plate and pulled a print so i could stamp on this and i love that now i've made my own pattern paper look at this one i had done this sheet with you guys with just the green and then I was taking the paint out of the middle of a stencil as I was layering and then I just had a sheet handy that's why I will often do just some solid backgrounds right yeah the ombre is really pretty this is just a sheet that was cleaning up as I was going I was picking the ink up from the stencil so see positive and the negative, like that's what is on the stencil. That's what I pulled through the stencil. Same with this. I had the sheet to another kind of ombre dealio and then just picked up dirty, like right stuff. Remember that one I showed you? This is the print I made. Look how pretty that is. And there's tons of gold in there because I put my gold glaze with a turquoise. I was really digging that. And then I just made a larger print this is cleaning the gold out of the stencil. So just multiple prints. Oh, there's two sheets there were made. That was from that one as well, all from that print. And then this one we did together. And I did a second one of that because I loved it so much. And I thought if I cut it up, I'm going to want a second one. So this one is what if you uh, watch my or check out my Instagram, this is the one I posted this week. It was the same technique, but I just uh, simplified it and only used the one stencil. So I wanted to make sure that I had two of these if I was going to cut one up. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to use this tonight, but right. And then all of the ones that we did. Did anybody, um, did anyone, one, A, did you play live with me last Friday or B, Number two, did you get a chance to do some after the fact? Did you get to play with your gel plate at all this week? Look at that gold glaze, the Vibu gold glaze. And if you see this, friends, buy it. It's gone now. It's totally discontinued and um, it's done. So what I have on my store are the cases that I bought. Uh, the other thing that is completely gone now are cool art crayons. So if you find them, buy them. All of that stuff is retired now and you know, you know how much we love those things and uh, they're gone, they're done. So if you see it, you want to grab them. Um, but look at, that's a gold glaze. Love it on there. We did this one together. This one, I love this one with a black in homage, homage to um, Natalie. <laughs> With the black and then the cleanup sheets like look at how many i did and it literally is just sitting and playing and someone had posted what do you do with these oh my goodness there's so many things we can do with them but to be honest with you i don't care if i do anything i just like to look at them and i love the process of making anybody with me when you do your gel plate like i don't well i'm a different crafter i think a different animal when it comes to crafting I don't have to have any kind of plan for anything. I will just make because I enjoy making, right? I just got all three sets of the crayons. Need another class on the crayons. There are, Paula, I've been using those crayons have been out since I started with American Crafts. You really need to um, go through the videos. There is so much content. Those art crayons are the bomb. They really are the bomb, but the factory that made them uh is it making them anymore so they're done right done but i just love the process i don't care if i did anything with these but we are going to tonight and these were the little pieces that i had um made a little mask out of totally can use these 
gonna find a way to use these tonight, right? The black, lots of just neutrals that are great for stamping, die cutting, going, running it through your um, die cut machine. So yeah, just tons, my cleanup sheets. So all of these I made with you guys and then a couple after the fact stamping off your gel plate is awesome. So you put your ink down, you take a clean stamp, you stamp into it, and then uh, you create a pattern, right? You create a pattern. So lots of things. Yeah, you can emboss on some of them, everything, anything you want. It's just no different than pattern paper. So these are all of the ones that I made on my own. This week and the ones that I made with you. So let's decide what we're going to do. So like I said, I made card bases all in white. I just right now, like a few minutes before I came on here, I created uh, slim lines. I got to watch because these are for two slim lines. I have two A2 and a five by seven. So let's go ahead and score our cards. Yeah, like we'll have to decide what we're going to do here. So on, um, in addition, I have some stamps here. And then I realize this. We've talked about this before with stamps and dies and cut files and all the things. The way I use these things I really have to start doing some exclusive stuff. So that is on my list. Exclusive dies, stamps, and stencils, because if you like to do mixed media, um, I find that we need more open space. So that is coming. What cardstock am I using? This is Nina Classic. I just bought uh, on Amazon a whole uh, ream of it. So I don't know if it's the Nina that everybody else uses, but I bought that Nina classic. Uh, it is, that one is a five by seven. And then I have a twos, which are going to be uh, when they're finished a four and a quarter by five and a half. I don't know if we'll get to all of these tonight, but I have them ready because I think some of what we do tonight could be really fast. Hello, Don. How are you, my friend? W plus nine stamp company owner in the house. My friend Don, super talented, super beautiful, super awesome. Yeah, I love that lady. And super talented gardening lady growing all the things. I'm just trying not to kill everything. Um, I think this is like 80 pound. It's not the 110. It's, it's Nina Classic. So, Don, you're an expert stamper card maker. Uh, the pack I bought, I think it said 80 pound on it. It feels like a 110, but it's not the, it's, this one is Nina Classic, if that means anything to you guys. I looked on it because I knew somebody was going to ask me. And remember, Vicky just buys the things. Growing them all for the bugs and pests, I bet, right? That is the uh, hard part of having a garden. You had your first garden tomato tonight. I love it, Julie. What did you do with it? Did you have my favorite, a toasted tomato sandwich? So these are going to be the slim line. So I am going to score these at three and a half by eight and a half. And I'm very proud of myself that I put it in the, um, yeah, I think it's 80 pound. This one is 80 and it seems to be fine for my cards. Like for the card bases, it has lots of oomph. I am, um, I have a basic knowledge of many things and an expert of nothing. 
Does that make sense, right? And an expert of none of the things. So um, I just grab the things and try it. I have, I guess as a crafter, I don't really have fear. I just do the things. Like, what have I got to lose? You know what I mean? You get in there and if it doesn't turn out exactly like you planned, well, I'll just pivot and do something else with it. So you'll find I'm pretty relaxed when it comes to all of the things. I don't use the tools the right way half the time. I'm just doing my thing. This one looks too big. I must have cut that too big. So I will, oh, or didn't score it right. I didn't score it right. But I'm going to do it again, and I will just put a mat on top of it. Uh, that's because I was talking, and that's what happens. Vicky can't do two things at once. But it's okay. Just don't look closely if I gift you this card that I scored it wrong. But I will just put a bigger um, mat on the front of it, and hopefully nobody will know. Hi, Don. How are you? Checking in from Nebraska. How you doing? I'm sorry if I've missed. Hi, Kim. How are you? So, yeah, we're making some cards tonight. I'm putting my card maker hat on. I made cards yesterday as well with um, the Let's Stamp Together kit. And now I'm back at the cards tonight. So I have a couple card bases that this one I totally mucked up, but I'm just going to cut a bigger mat for it. That's what I decided. You're a master crafter. Well, thank you very much. I, is it Sherry or Cherie? Um, I don't know if I'm a master crafter. Some days I feel like, right? Uh, do you ever feel like, what is that? Uh, what is the saying? Something of and master of none. What is that saying? One of you smarties will know. Hi, Wanda. How are you? Hi, Paula. Some, what is the saying? I want to sound smart now. Something in master of none. Like there is a saying. I keep looking at Kari. And because Kari is everybody's best friend. She just is an amazing human. So she's having conver uh, conversations. I knew it would be you, Don, who would say it first. Oh, Kimberly was. So you guys were there. Jack of all trades and master of none. <laughs> that is me, right? I'm a Vicky of all trades and a master of none. So um, I love, because I keep looking over at Kari and thinking I'm missing something, but she is the social convener of our group. She remembers everything that's going on in your life and checks up on you. You got to love it, right? Got to love our Kari. Um, so I've made my card bases. These are the kind of things I pulled for tonight. I pulled some, you know, the stamps that I like, just basics. I pulled um, a larger die for a title, a Hero Arts one. So if we want to die cut out of the backgrounds, we can. And we can actually see something it, of it. And then I have some, okay, friends, but... I want to use this one, but I don't know if you can find it anymore. But I feel like you can find butterfly dies. So I have this one from Hero Arts. And I don't know if Libby is out there tonight. I haven't seen Libby for a little while. Um, but I don't know if this is retired. But I pulled this because you know I love butterflies. So I pulled this because I thought it would be good. Open, lots of open space, which need, we need, right? And then... Um, I have a couple different flower ones. So a nesting flower uh, dies from scrap.com and then ones that we could stamp. I just bought these from Stamp Market. So I thought the shapes would be good. But like I said, it's very, for the type of stamp that I want to use, this type of dies, I have a hard time finding the things that I want to. So I feel like I'm really going to have to look at uh, creating my own. I think I'm getting to the point where um, what I have in my head, I can't find in my, my uh, drawer. <laughs> so I'll have to find that. We are all here together, holding hands and making it through each day together. I love that. 
my friend Kari. Now, see, this is just a diet A and W. It is not a diet. Um, what did I say, Doctor Root Beer? Diet Doctor Root Beer, <laughs> right? Diet Doctor Root Beer. What is wrong with me? So I thought things that we could do. When I think of these prints for cards, um, I think of some that are really fun backgrounds, like say this, and this would be a great base for one of the cards. And what I love about this is you could stamp in black and white. So we could do that tonight, stamp in black and white and put that on top, I think would be beautiful. You could also do one of those layered dies like the, um, uh, Alta New, Tim Holtz, the kind of layered pieces that you die cut would look beautiful on top of one of these backgrounds. Don't you like that? Diet Dr. Root Beer. That's what I said earlier, Diet Dr. Root Beer, because my brain is so exhausted. But um, I'm going to use this one for sure as a base for one of the cards. And then I'm going to die cut out of the other side. So love that. This one's going to go into the rotation. Um, we can tear these. So I want to do that, tear some strips and add to a page. These are the ones that I think will be fun to use that great for stamping, possibly a base. This one was a Wendy Vecchi stamp that looks like a floral lace background. So I stamped the paint off of apply your paint to your gel plate. And then you take a clean stamp and you stamp into the paint and clean the stamp and keep doing it. And your stamp actually removes the paint from the plate. And then you have um, an awesome background. This one would be great for stamping as well. I don't know if I'm going to use them all, but these are the ones I'm going to pull out. I don't know. What do you think? Should we use that? Because we could totally cut out of the middle of that or even off the side. So I think that's going to be in the pile for bases. I'm going to tear strips out of this. I don't think I'm going to use that one. I'm not going to use the tissue right now. Blue is a good contrast if I need it. I'm not going to use that. I like these for something. So we will just start rolling and use what, oh, I like that as a base. Because we have a couple cards to do, right? The purple is a nice contrast. Ooh, we could do some black. Very pretty. Um, but I don't want to get overwhelmed in the details. I will pull from here if I need something, right? Like that. Okay. Maybe that one. Possibly this. <laughs> ah, Nicole's favorite. Okay, so now at least I have narrowed it down a little bit. Narrowed it down a little bit. Okay, so many choices, right? Yeah, lots of things to choose from. So things that I like for the backgrounds. Was there another one here? And as we start playing, do you, so are you guys, anybody playing along tonight? Or are you just watching and going, okay, lady, hurry up, get to it. Are you saying that? Get to it. And we're going to cut our bases. Okay, so this is where we're going to start. I'm going to start with some of them. What I'm going to pick is my bases. I'm going to start with that. Um, and then we'll go from there. So I have this one. Remember that I didn't fold very nicely. So I'm going to cut a matting piece that is three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And I'm going to do it out of this. So I'm going to, I'm going to take part of that edge because I can use it on something else. So I'm going to cut part of that off for a strip because I like that. And now I'm going to cut my three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. 
do it right this time, Vicki. You gotta watch right with some of this paper once your blade starts to get um, dull that you get, I need a nail file. And then do we want this in here or like where do we wanna cut from here? Let's cut the end off. And then I'm gonna decide for my eight and a quarter. Do I want all of that? Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, eight and a quarter. Okay. So look at right off. Look at that now. This, if that doesn't look at that, when you take that and quiet all the noise and put it on your base, look at how beautiful that is. I'm so excited. I'm excited. So let's glue that one down. Look at that. And we made that. And this was a sheet we just cleaned our freaking mat off with or our gel plate. Seriously, friends, don't deny yourself the awesomeness of crafting. Um, like if you're looking and going, I don't know if I want a gel plate print. I'm a card maker. I don't do the mixed media. I think he's trying to talk me into all this crap and I don't want it. Well, I hope that what happens on Friday night when you hang out with me is I don't just try to convince you of, of getting things you don't, you think you don't need is I show you what I do with it. And then you can make the educated choice or decision, right? If you're like, yep, I want it. Now I see, now I understand, right? And then you can decide if it's something you want or not, but look at just that. You could put a sentiment on it and call it done. But look at that base for your card. How fun is that, right? And nobody knows that I didn't score it correctly. Well, everybody watching knows I didn't, but I love that. I love, I would love that as a card. You can use it in either configuration, right? What do you think? Are you excited with me or do you think I'm like, put the crack pipe down, Vicky? I'm curious. I love that right there. That could that could be end done. Sentiment end done, right? I love that. Uh, I don't know if you can tell that I love that. So I'm gonna do another one and this is where we're talking about we can elevate a background. So I'm gonna use this pink one now. See, this dirty corner from like what was left, the snot that was left on the plate. Totally gonna do something with that now. And we made these. These are all custom made originals. How fun is that? So with this one, I am going to actually, I like the edge. So um, that is going to go in the top corner. So for this one, it's going to go right up against the edge. So I'm going to cut a four by four by five. That's what I'm going to do gel plate's not. It really is. It's kind of like this, the scummy stuff that's on the edge. So what did I just tell you guys? Four by five? Is that what I said? Were you listening? Or are you like, oh man, here she goes. Rambly, rambly. So I would like four inch. I'm just cutting what I need for right now. Four by five, like that. Is that what I said? Four by five? Mm, five or five and a quarter, let's decide. Four, a quarter on that side. We'll go five. I only cut what I needed, so if I need more space, I've got it there. So now look at this one. I think I need to go grab my corner rounder. Look at that one now for the base of my card. I should have done it a little bit, but I'll put a border on the bottom. Look at that. So pretty. I'm gonna get a corner rounder though. I feel like I need that. Let me grab that. So 
So does anybody have any elevator music, like a earworm? Do you know what one is in my head? Oh, whoa. what one is that? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, 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 that's what's in my head. Isn't it that redhead English guy? That's the song that is in my head. So the whole time I'm crafting with you, that's what's playing in my head. And I don't think I even heard it today. So I don't even know how that one got in there, but it is in there. So when I went to get my corner rounder, that's what was playing in my head. Does anybody even know what that song is? Or when I'm singing it, were you like, I don't even know what she's singing. Hey, do, 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 Ed Sheeran, right? But I don't know what is the song. Question, are your backgrounds from gel plate printing one? Is two coming or did I miss it? Uh, these are all from last Friday. I have not done the second class. These are actually all prints that we made live. Well, other than some I did for homework, right? I just kind of made, but look at how fun is this? So you could just take these and have card bases ready that when you're ready to add on top of it, you could. I made these last Friday. It is Ed Sheeran. Yeah, I don't know why that name, that song is in my head, but it is 100%. And I'm sorry if I made your ears bleed singing it. Okay, so we have two bases there. One of my bases I'm going to tear. So I'm not going to put a base on it. I think I'm going to do that on the 5 by 7 I'm going to tear some pieces. And then let's decide. I think one of these... I'm going to do something on there, but I'll put one more base on. Okay. And then because they're my cards, I can do a liar. That one's going on here. Look at that. Yeah, that one is going on here. Hey, do, 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 do. Um, my husband. I will be singing songs like I sing the Camila Cabello Bam Bam song all the time. And he'll be like, OK, where did that one come from? And I'll be like, mm, I don't know. Who knows? I can't even tell you half the time where some of these songs come from. So I'm going to do another three and a quarter by eight and a quarter out of this one. Oh, I love that. Look at that whole piece there. So let's cut that. Not a li not a liar changed my mind. Um, you know, you never know what you're going to get, right? You never know what you're going to get. Three and a quarter. Oh, my goodness. Watch this magic happen. Okay. When you take it away from all of that. <gasps> Seriously, look how pretty that is. So now we have to decide. Well, there's really no decision. It's going to be up here. Cut that piece off. And it's going to be eight and a quarter. And look at that, my friends. Oh, my goodness. Like, look how pretty that is. Seriously. Is anybody excited with me? Or do you think I'm crazy? Don't answer that. So I don't know if I'm going to glue this one down, though, because we might layer on top of it. This one might be where I feel like, let's just do it. Let's just do the things. Okay, that one's going there. I'm not gluing it down. Didn't glue anything on this one. And then we have this one. Okay. But now we have still all this magic that can go in your, like, magic toolbox for creative endeavors. I don't know where I was going with all that, but I spit it all out. It's not brown, though. Look it. You think it's brown, but it's gold. It's gold. It's gold glaze. Can you see it? 
I don't know if you guys can tell, but it, it, there's shimmer on it. it. That's gold. I feel like the angels are singing. Crazy good. I am crazy. And um, I totally embrace that. If you guys have hung out with me for any amount of time, you are not surprised by the fact that I'm a wackadoodle. Okay, so things that I'm thinking. I have punches here. So we could punch some shapes and put them on here. This one, we're going to tear strips, but look on this one. We could keep this very simple, this one, and circles. Do you want me to do circles on that one? Because I feel like at home, everyone could probably cut a circle. If you don't have a circle punch, you might have a die, you might have a die cutting machine, or you could draw them with a cup and hand cut them. So I think, what about circles on there? Don't you think that would be good? You could do circles on here. So that's gonna be circles that we're gonna punch and I'm gonna show you something fun. And then we could do torn strips on here. And then let's look at the dies that I have. So we have a punch, torn strips. We can stamp something. So let's make a plan for the craziness that is going to ensue. So I'm going to do flowers. So I have this Ulta new. Do I have the dies for it? I do. So I'm just going to take the simplest flower, that one there, the outline, and the die for that one. So I'm going to do that on one of the cards. I'm going to do butterfly a butterfly, and then the flower. So I think that's okay. Got a plan. We've got a plan, Stan. Let's do the things. Okay. All right. So I'm going to tear some strips to start. So we're going to start on this card right here. This is going to be our start card. Okay. So this is my cleanup sheet. This is a sheet that I actually cleaned my roller on. I want to use that. And do you remember the gold little pieces, those strips? Let's find them. In the mess. Here, look at those. Time for coffee. Natalie said, time for coffee. So I'm gonna do this first. Look what I have, border punch, border punch. And I'm gonna start that. And then I can also tear them, but I wanna see what this looks like when we punch a border out of it. So let's do the things. Oh my goodness, friends, seriously. Who knew? Who knew? So I'll show you on the white. I think it's going to be pretty cool. So, you know, like Vicky's typical Friday night lives, this one might go for a while. So if you can't stick around for the whole thing, that's okay. Just uh, check back when you can. But I am going to try to take Friday Night Lives, some of your favorites, and make them into short videos. So where we can take the techniques that we learned, and I can put them in shorter videos. So you, see, I wish I had down here some press and seal because I could pick that up right away. Just a scrapbook page with a tear of those yellow strips over the multicolor warm stripes pile. Fun. So I just cheated and made my own. So let's see what that looks like on white. How fun is that right there? Look at that. So I'm going to cut that as a border that we could use on this card or another one. So I will be generous and take some of that off. 
because that is really fun. Look at, so when we quiet it down, so my trimmer blade needs to be changed. So I don't want you guys to see that jaggedy mess, but look at, look how fun that is. Contained funk, right? Where we can take that. And if you are a linear cleaner scrapbooker or card maker, you, we could do a whole series of these. So now we could come in, right? And the contrast of that over the gold, look at that. It would really pop, right? So, oh, what about for this card? I just had a, an idea. What if I do a border, torn, border, torn? Now I'm asking you, but you know I'm going to do it anyway. Because <laughs> I'm really digging that. So what I'm going to do, right, is the idea for this is going to be that this is going to go on the edge. And then this is going to go behind it. And you totally could take your gel plate prints, uh, right, Dandy? And you could totally make art on your wall. Do whatever you want with them, right? But look how fun that is, friends. <gasps> I love that. Right? And now I'm going to punch another border and do the torn strip. So this one will be on that edge and then the border. So really, it's probably only going to be two borders, scallop, and the torn strip. Totally digging that. Totally digging that. So let's do it. Do oops another and decide what color, wh where do you want me to punch it? How about some of this, some of that red? I think that could be fun. Or that's not red, Vicky, but right. Okay. So what I'm going to do. Do, 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 do. I can use that for something else. This is going to be hidden. How much of that do I need though? Just kind of make a plan. Okay. About. I'm going to cut about almost three inches of it. Mm -mm. Actually, I'm a liar. I'm going to clean that edge up now. So I have two pieces of it, but I want some of that pink in my strip. Okay, put that there with that. Did I cut that? For? Oh, the gold. That's the extra from the gold. Okay, let's make another one. Magenta, Magneta. You're totally making me want to go brayer a bunch of paint sheets, right? A lot of people would throw this away. No way, Jose. It is totally art, right? I love it. Well, and Dawn, if I inspire you to make magic, that makes me super happy. Can't wait to see what you do with it because I know it will be super fantabulous. And what's fun is because, have you ever noticed when you're cleaning your brayer off that um, if there's a pattern that you rolled the brayer over, it will pick up on the brayer. And then when we clean the sheet up, it will transfer. And that's always fun. So there's little diamonds on here. So you have to make sure when you're punching, you um, line up the scallop and the diamond, not just the scallop. And I'm doing the whole piece because who knows what I want to use from it. Well, most of the piece. Okay. So now I have to make sure don't cut this too narrow because you have to make sure enough of that will peek out when we go to do the gold bit. So I'm going to cut about two and a half inches of that. And then I still have that magic for something. 
and then I'm not going to cut it down right now because I don't really know what how much of it I want to use. Just telling you, friends. Oh, my goodness. So last week was freaking fun, gel plate printing. And I mean, it was so much fun that even though I had tons of other work to do, I sat down here and printed more. I came down here to do something else. And then I sat down and started printing gel plate like you do, right? And um, now that I'm actually sitting down and using them, I am thoroughly enjoying this whole process. Look at that. I love this so much. Like so much, so much, so much. So see, just make sure you leave enough and then you can twist and do whatever. So like that's kind of the jam, right? You picking it up, picking up what I'm putting down. So I know that one needs to be straight. I would ideally like this one to be straight, but I can get a little funky with those. And then I can decide, do I want a lot of pink in the turquoise? Do I want that part? And my friends, if you grabbed your sewing machine, that would rock. And you could totally sew um, on these as well. And I think that would be magical. So is that look flush? So what I'm going to do now is commit. I'm going to glue these together and then I'll glue it onto the page. Right? Glue them together and then I'll glue it onto the page. How are we doing out there? Are you enjoying this or you're like, this is not my cup of tea at all? I have to decide where I'm going to commit these. I'm just going to be there. And then decide how straight I want that to be. Which I think is good there. Do, 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 do. So you're going to see in a minute why I'm kind of farting around with this is I want to cut it down to a mat. I want it to be short, smaller. Do you think? Do you think it should run the whole length of the card? I could put it, um, oh, I better glue. Just a second, Vicki, before you start getting all crazy. I need to make some commitment. Oops. So Riley has gone to football game. Tie Cats, I think. He went to the Tie Cats game. I don't think it's Astros, I think. Is that even a thing? <laughs> Did I just make that up? Is that even a thing? So um, um, let me look. Uh, doing. Uh, hi, Marlene. How are you? Um, I'm mixed media. Not a word tonight. I love it, Keisha. So, right? Like, look, should I cut it so it fits like a mat? Or do you think for the whole length of the card? Like, so imagine, right? It's not going to... I kind of like the white border around it. Right? So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Because I can just trim part of this and then we can go from there. So what my thought is, right, is that... I will clean that up. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's a couple layers, so I don't know if it went right through. Ooh, I love that. I kind of like that containedness. So see? Now when you fit it on there and leave the little bit of a white border, right? Do you guys like that? And then I could finish it right at the bottom or leave it like a border. What are our thoughts? Right? Leave, I think the quarter inch border all the way around is kind of funky. 
Ooh, and I love it going this way. Quarter inch border, right? I like the border. So this is a five by seven. So we are going to make the width of it six and three quarters, I think I'm going to go with. Do, 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 do. Oh, now I got to decide how I'm going to cut this. I'm going to measure that because I want this straight edge. So let's do this. Or can I flip it? Let's see. I can commit that part now. There, so it's not moving on me. There we go. Flip and do six and three quarters ish. Hold it really tight because right, it's they're kind of wobbly bobbly. There we go. And there's paint on here, right? So they're a little thick. Okay, let me show you. I am digging it in this configuration. I don't know what I got on there. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. But I don't want full on commitment. Let's see. I want it to kind of sit on there like it is pieces of art. So I'm not gluing right to the edges per se. I want it to kind of sit and I can curl pieces up. So look at that, right? Would you like getting a card like this? Are you intrigued and you think you might make some cards like this? Look how fun that is. And I like it going in the horizontal and then I can totally curl the edges up a little to give them kind of an artsy feel. Right? And one is the sheet I freaking clean my brayers on. Do you know what I'm saying? One isn't even a gel plate print. Well, neither one of them are. I use the gold to mask, right? The gold was to mask, and then the other was to clean my brayer off. And I think a sentiment right here is all we need in black. Don't you think? Right here. Sentiment done sentiment done. Do we agree? Right here. I'm going to get out my misty. Let's pick a sentiment. Let's finish one card. Let's do the things tonight. Oh my goodness. And remember, I was kind of like, oh, I'm a little tired and blah, blah, wah, wah. And now look at I am loving my life. Crafting is good for the soul. Crafting is good for the soul. When you are having a rough day, I say, oh, look at you make my heart happy. When you are having a rough day, I think that you take some time for yourself and make something. It is therapy. I really believe that. Anybody with me? Anybody with me? Let's see if we like this one on there. It's therapy. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay, I will test this first on a scrap. But I'm thinking that that would fit really cool right there. You make my heart happy right there look at that in black easy peasy lemon squeezy okay let's try it 
What is the name of the stamp and cut you're using, please? This one? I know, and I did not put any of my share sale links because they're typical Vicky. Oh, happy thanks. Happy thanks, stamp and cut XL from my friends at Hero Arts. Okay, so let's stamp this up a couple times. And I don't think I would add much of anything else. Seriously, I, I wouldn't put gems or anything. Um, I feel like this is like an original art card, right? So I don't feel like I would do anything other than that. I love it so much. I'm going to stamp one more time. Oh, I can't because I just moved my card. Did you see that? But look at you make my heart. You make my heart. Oh, my goodness, friends. Should I put dot, dot, dot and inside stamp happy? <laughs> I was so excited and I was not reading at all. Do you, That would be good, right? I could stamp the inside of the card with happy, right? You make my heart. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, my good Lord. Did you anyone notice that as I was doing it? That is a dummy. Yeah. And then I'll put on the inside happy. <laughs> oh, good Lord. But that'll work, right? You make my heart. And then I could put three little rhinestones or something, right? Dot, dot, dot. You make my heart happy. Do you love this, friends? Look how pretty that is. And that's gold glaze. So there's one. Super simple. You don't really have to have any tools at home. You could have made this because um, you could tear all four of the pieces. You don't have to uh, use a border punch if you don't have it. Or you could use your scallop scissors. You don't need the dots. Just put it happy inside. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that just happen? Vicky, you ding -a -ling. Okay, so I'm not throwing these away. This is this is gold, right? I'll use it for something else. Still laughing at that one. Still laughing at that one. Dingbat. Nothing went quite right, but then ended up just fine. That's a perfect day then, right? You had solutions for all of it, Keisha. I'm telling you. Um... I am bone tired. That's what I feel like. Bone tired. Never getting as much done lately as I want to get done. What did I decide on this one? I don't remember now. I don't remember. This one? I did not stamp yet. Or glue because I want to stamp on it. So this is what we have. And I don't remember. One I was going to... Oh, circles. That's circles. Gonna do circles next. And I have a mat already cut somewhere out of foundations. So this is a piece of foundations. I'm gonna use this because I'm going to do a little bit of mixed media with the circles. So we can use the scraps that we just had. I could use scraps and I could punch out of that. A uh, decal uh, ruler, yeah, to tear the paper, whatever you wanna do. Um, any gold left to stamp happy on? Yeah, I will. I have lots of stuff, so I'll finish that one. But I'll be putting happy on the inside because remember, dingling, dingling Vicky. Don't know what happened there. So I'm going to punch some circles. So what do we want to punch them out of? So I'm going to punch maybe one out of that, maybe. Oh, for sure. I can do some out of this. So let's pick that. Okay. So I think I only have two sizes of circle punch out. So let's just go with it. Can I get it in deep enough? Mm, but I like that. Okay. Maybe a third. So I 
have three circles from that and let's find something contrasty hello charlene uh you're late here tonight it's okay we you know i'll be working away for a while and i'm gonna go in with that one i think from the orange oh i didn't want that size though vicky ding dong this one's a little bit bigger so that. Okay. I'm standing now. This serious business. Serious business is going on. So this is a mat, right? That's gonna fit on my A2 size. So it is on foundations because we're going to do some mixed media in the background so it is a four by five and a quarter on foundations paper so that we can take a uh do i want to go black or navy i think i'm gonna go black art crayon so i'm gonna use a black art crayon okay And I'm going to use my fingers too. So let's kind of decide where we want this pattern to go. Use more of the blue one up here. Like that. Out here maybe. that's going to kind of be my pattern okay so you could go with if you wanted to a little pencil and kind of plan out your where your circles are and i'll show you why in a second so i'm just going very lightly that's going there this one's going here there this one first that song is so in my head I don't know why but it is very focused tonight so i'm sorry if i'm missing um anything so i'm gonna go in and loosely draw with my art crayon now around here And now I'm going to take my finger and have a baby white pandy and a paper towel. And I'm going to smudge just like you would a chalk or oil pastel. Okay. Clean that off so it's fresh for the next one. What this does too is will prevent that crayon from rubbing off. Dry finger. I am so sad to see these go. I don't think you fully can comprehend my dismay because it is a beautiful product with a decent price point so the black is in the neutral set 
if you don't have arc crayons, right? Black is in the neutral set. So let's take a look now. Place again. and decide what's gonna pop up. And am I happy with that? I think so. I like that. Just kind of a nice little kind of smoosh. Um, trying, trying to find something that I like equally with the art crayons, but um, it's hard. It was a good product and it's all comes down to what the minimum order quantity is and there's so many things that come into play i'm just tacking these quickly so i can trim the excess because some are going to be popped up right which one popped flat popped and popped maybe this one for sure <laughs> flat because I might put my sentiment down there popped so just a sec yeah it's a sad day like some of these things aren't around forever right so um, when they go, it is sad. One never knows. One never knows. And, you know, um, with American Crafts, it's not like a ranger or... So a lot of products you'll know are one and done. Like, it's just a one release. I don't have a lot of products that are evergreen, meaning you can reorder and reorder. I think the only thing right now that is left is foundations paper. There is nothing else that is reordered. So um, it is just one of those actual and factual kind of thing. If you like it, buy it when you see it. It is not guaranteed that it will be around permanently, right? That one I'm going to leave flat. Did I decide flat or popped? I don't remember now. So if this might be um, too mixed media for you, if you want it cleaner, don't put the black circles or stamp circles around it, right? If you don't want the messiness of this. You like bloop. <laughs> I am crazy. I can't help it. And half the time, I don't even know I'm doing it, right? I don't even know I'm making the sound effects. I know I'm singing that song though, because that is, those are the kind of songs that get stuck in my head. If it is, you know, um, just a repeated word or sound, like that Bam Bam song. But a bum 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 bum, but a bum 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 bum, but a bum 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 bum. Yeah. And Ed Sheeran is in that one, too. See? So I'm just channeling my red-headed English guy. Ooh, I think that one has to go like that. It's upside down, the words, but I don't even care. Just because I want that corner on there. There we go, friends. Oh, cleaning this one up. Ooh. Look at that. Super simple though, right? And you could, if you wanted the black, like cut this smaller and you could uh, mat, double mat in black if that's your jam. And then look at, we could put, I think a sentiment right here. What do you guys think? 
a sentiment right here. Boop, boop. And are all of these ones not full words? I don't know. You are so kind. That would work. But because it is a sub title, you're loving these circles. That's awesome. I'm glad that it looks okay. You're the best. We could do you're the best. We like that. You're the best. You're the best. You're simply the best. Hi, Tracy. Oh my goodness. I did not know. Do they have a song together? Yeah, hopelessly devoted to you, right? My head is saying, fool, forget him. My heart is saying, don't let him go. Just hold on to the end. That's what I intend to do. I'm hopelessly devoted to you. Oh my goodness, that was so sad to see that she passed. That is one of my dreams. I always wanted to um, be in Greece, right? Yeah, so sad, Olivia. She fought the hard fight though, didn't she? She was sick for so long. Um, happy birthday, that's what this one says. So do you think I'm gonna be able to just eyeball stamp it? <laughs> women of many talents right crazy so very sad that she was like a huge part of growing up that and xanadu right yeah um i loved greece that was big that was big so that was very sad when i saw that yeah our greece and what's funny is the the n day before it was announced the Grease theme song came on the radio. What are the odds of that? What are the odds of that, right? Yeah, she was sick for a long time. I'm just rubbing um, my sentiment here. So I'm going to uh, stamp it once or twice before I commit. And Vicky's getting wild and crazy because I'm going to try to stamp one shot. If it doesn't work, I can just always go in and uh, put a piece down. Where is Vicky's ink? There it is. You saw Grease 22 times. Yeah, easy, right? I can do the dialogue. Oh my goodness, I love that movie. I loved the double LP. I still have it. The double LP, if my mother's out there, she can tell you. Totally loved John Travolta and... Second, there's something on my A. Unless... Is there a flaw on it? I don't know. Let's try it again. This one might not work. Yeah, there's something going on on that A. Just a second. Let's see what's going on on the A for the happy. It's like a little line on it, so I don't know if there's a flaw in the stamp. Giving it a good wipe. Try it again. Yeah, I would love to um, take Devin to see Ed Sheeran. Yeah, there's a flaw on the A. Well, I'm gonna, I'll just write with a marker. I'm gonna go for it, because I like this stamp. But you see, the A has a little flaw in it. So, but we are going to, Vicki, you got to get in here. You're going to see my head for a minute. Wish me the best. Is Vicki going to stamp straight? Not really. This is when I needed the Misty, but because I already put my um, foam dots on, we're just going with it. It's close enough. Close enough. Okay, let's finish this baby. Yeah. What happened? You just blocked what, Bozo? What happened? I missed it. 
straightish works, right? Were you scared for me going in like that, Don? Were you scared for me going in like that? But look how pretty that is. And it's kind of got a masculine vibe to it, right? So um, just let me add it on here. I'm not getting super fancy. Just know if you ever get a card from Vicky, it might fall apart. <laughs> That's okay. You would just be happy that Vicky actually mailed out anything. And you wouldn't judge Vicky if her card fell apart. There we go. So I love that. That has like a um, mixed media vibe to it, right? So look, we have that one and this one. Fun. Fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, let's go on to the next one. We just finished two cards. I You eyeball most of your stamps, yeah. Some X-rated comment. Did you guys get it? I didn't see it. I'm sorry if that happened, but was he blocked? Do I need to go and do anything? I don't know if Natalie's still here drinking her pot of coffee. Oh, sorry. I'll freaking every night, man, block user. But the... Um, hard thing is with that is they come on on like 10 different um, whatever IP addresses or whatever it is emails every every Friday night that whoever that is that posts that and I don't know if it's a bot I don't I don't really understand how the interwebs completely work but they're here every um, every Friday night. Natalie, right? Natalie doing the things, helping us out. So we have these three cards left, friends. These three to do something on. Okay. So die cut. That was one of the plans, right? Die cut. So we have, you could hand, look at, can I show you something? That would be fun too. Um, let's take a look Something that would contrast on that pink. Remember one of the things that we do is hand-drawn flowers. Don't you think these would be perfect to do a hand-drawn flower? Should I go wild and crazy and then just try to draw one right out the gate? Let's make sure the pen works. We could just draw a flower if I can find a scrap to make sure my pen works. Okay, so let's think quickly. We could do like a five petal flower like this. So Vicky obviously can't count because that's six petal, right? So let's, let's go. I'm going to just go for it. I'm just going to do the things. So I'm going to go like this and this and this. Oh, this one might be a fiver. Okay. And then we'll just do some circles in the middle. And cut that one out so we can have a hand drawn flower on there and then let's do a smaller one in kind of the orange section so options right we always have options Cut that out. All right. Um, sorry, friends. I'm not as chatty tonight because I'm concentrating. I, it's hard for me to read the comments and fussy cut. So, uh, 
if I'm missing anything, I apologize. What are your plans for the weekend? For um, some of my American friends, your kids have gone back to school, I think, right? This might have been your first week with kids, grandkids back at school. Nieces, nephews. Um, well, I don't have kids that go to school like that anymore. Well, I don't know when do college kids start, right? Uh, Riley will start in September. Devin is still in school. She writes exams next week, gets two weeks off, and then starts again because she goes right through the year. Look at this. Wait till I show you this magicness. Magicness. Is that a word? I might have just made a new one up. But look at that when you contain the funk. Contain in the funk. Oh, I love that with the that mint greeny, limey green on there. Happy anniversary, Kim. 40th on uh, Sunday. That is awesome. In Oregon, they start on Labor Day. That's when they start after Labor Day weekend as well. And Joan, I'm not sure what happened. Um, sorry, whatever happened. Um, we're heading out for North Bay morning in the morning. That's fun. Drive um, safely. Be careful. Okay, going to cut another one out. So you see when we go to stamp on here, it's going to be magical. But if you don't have stamps, we could always hand draw, right? Hand drive. Do the hand job, baby. How long, if you guys were Grace fans, did you practice that till you could do? I can still do the hand jive. Oh my goodness, that movie. I think when we went, when I was a kid, it was standing room only. You couldn't, there weren't even seats left. But I don't know why hand jive. What did I just say that made hand jive pop into my head? I don't even know. I don't even know. Born to hand jive, baby. Oh, look. Very fun, friends. And now let's find something to make a leaf out of. Oh, do we have another green? I probably just used the green for the flowers. That wasn't very smart. Going fishing on Van Island for five weeks. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. You're a, a pro at the hand jive. Yep. Born to hand jive, baby. Let's see. Decide what we're going to make our leaves out of. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What are our leaves going to look like? Because Vicky, ooh, this, this could work. Very sad, though. I got to watch because I love this one. That um, I'll punch one circle out of up here. I want a bigger circle punch. Just a second. Born to hand job, baby. There we go. Okay. So, eek, I'm going to have to use this. Even though I don't want to. But we'll do it. I will just do the things. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? And make a couple of leaves. The Blue Jays are losing. Oh, Sheila won't be happy. Are you mad at your Jays there, Sheila? My mom and dad are big Blue Jay fans. So I want to get in on that inside part. 
I can make another one out of there. Let's see. So, oh, pretty. Do you see what I'm saying when you contain the funk? The patterns of these are so much fun. You're big Jays fans as well. My parents growing up never watched baseball. So it makes me laugh because I'm like, now I'm like, where did that come from, Mamacita? You never liked the J uh, baseball. And now you're like huge baseball fans. Like, what, what the what? What the what, lady? Hi, Jamie. How are you? I am missing. There's lots of convo going on tonight. So I apologize if I'm missing it. So look at there, right? It's they're very matchy, but I think we'll be okay. We'll be okay. What do we think, friends? Oh, and I'm gonna put a border down here. Do we have a piece of what I already scalloped for my scraps? Is there enough? Will it fit? I don't know. Let's look. It is not enough. So we'll use a different piece, but see, I'm going to finish that bottom with a scallop. And that is a hand-drawn flower from our, I'm going to show you something. Okay. So this one, I feel it needs some contrast. So what are we going to do? We're going to take now my script stamp here. And what color do we want? I want something that is going to contrast a little bit. So I'm going to go in with hot pink. So I am going to use my archival picked raspberry. Thank you, Jamie. So I am going to stamp on that. Not a lot of ink. It does not need to be perfect. But I think adding a little bit of something something will make that interesting. So there is just now a subtle script on there, the contrast with the pink. Love that. You could stamp on your card as well if you want to. Let's try it. Because now she's getting all wild and crazy. So I'm gonna do the pink again, but I'm just gonna do these little poke dots. Now we just added a little bit of pattern on there. So you can take your prints and you can elevate them with stamps. Now I went in with the archival ink because it's on acrylic paint. So you want to make sure you're using a paint uh, ink that's actually going to stick. So it's going to take a little while to dry, but I'm just going to fake it and put my bits down now. Okay, curl my little edges. Oh, I love that. Just that little bit of contrast. And that little guy in there with its little bit of pink. Like that. And then put our leaves back in. How you doing, friends? Hey, 
thank you for sticking around. It's a quieter night tonight, I think. Again, oh, look at, I just got pink all over that. Must add ink on my finger. But because of the nature of the pattern, nobody would know that that was me getting ink all over everything. So that's a saving grace. Do you guys, um, when you make your cards, do you use a lot of dimension or do you like flat cards? I've asked this before because I'm always curious because I like dimension, but I'm sure some of you do not put a lot of dimension in your cards. When you do, are you somebody who mails your cards? Because I want to know how does that work then? when you um, mail the cards if there's bulk. Right? If there's bulk um, with your cards, do you have to put extra postage on it? How much can you get away with? You use lots of dimension. I need to do the things. Like, I need to still be true to Vicky crazy. And Vicky crazy is dimension. I always do a lot of dimensions and I add cardstock on top of the card when you mail it. Mailing isn't bad, $2. Love that. What's hand cancel mean? What's that mean? This is a new term for me. I'm not sure what that means. Can we do that? What do you guys think? Love it. And then I'm going to put my little scallop bit and then a uh, sentiment down here. Oh, they don't run it through the postage machine. Look at what I'm learning. And you put hand cancel? I wouldn't know that. I actually have to mail a card. <laughs> I would learn the things, right? I would like to start doing that. Remember we talked about that. It would be fun that if I started, I think, doing that as a kind of giveaway thing. I want to move that one. I don't like that. And now I'm a liar. I'm going to move that up again because I got to get that sentiment still on there. What do you guys think? Right? Pretty with the little bits. I think a little border piece at the bottom. Maybe in the yellow. What do you guys think? In the yellow. Look at that's actually kind of fun. I don't even have to if I didn't want to. I could just cut that out. Let's try it first. Try it first. <laughs> Love it. Mail it to me. Put the sentiment up top. Yeah. Do you think? Where do you think I should put the sentiment? I will actually even listen to you guys, right? Instead of just asking and then doing what I want anyway. Because, guys, if you've been around for a long time, you know exactly what Vicky's talking about. Because I do that. I like that. I'm going to cut that out. A little fussy fussy. And then, what? We only have one card left to do, right? Oh, I have two cards left to do, Vicky. Two. But they're going to be pretty quick. I'm just trying to find my scissors in the disaster. Yeah, maybe twine and stuff after. I'm not going to do any of that right now because I just want to get it done. But look at. Remember my um trimmer blade needs to be changed when you are using 
the cheaper uh, printer paper for your prints, I find that it gets kind of torn up when you cut it. Oh, I love that. Love that! With the little edge from the printer, uh, from the plate. Add that on, finishes the edge off. Pretty, right? So where are we thinking with the sentiment? I was thinking just right here on a like a little a banner. I was thinking a little banner here. What do you think? And I could stamp it directly on the card right up at the top. What are our thoughts? They were right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to add one right now. See, I was going to put it right there. But it could totally go right at the top, right? Totally could go right at the top. I will think on that one and surprise you. This is not in any way a title, but look at. Like I could do it up there. That's kind of fun, isn't it? Can't use. I love the color. Matches perfectly, but good food, good mood does not work for my card. But I like that. Just looking at that, right? Just seeing if I had one that was, because not everything has to be stamped. I could totally use a sticker up there, couldn't I? I like the spacey, though, on my top. I could always put a little flag banner down there, but I don't want to cover the art. That's the whole thing is I love that corner. So I'll come back to that. But I think for right now, I'm quite happy with that. Very pretty, right? And guess what? I doodled. I didn't even need to have a stamp or anything. I just hand drew those flowers. Quick and easy. So we have that one so far. We have this one. And this one. So those are three cards. Let's see what we can do. That's fast. Clean up a little bit so I can find my, my things. And we have this one, which I love, 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 love. And this one. So we have to decide what we're going to do now. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Yeah, I guess you don't need a sentiment. I could just sign it like it's a Vicky original little art, arty arts, right? Oh, I remember what I'm going to do. I remembered. So, of course, now, Vicky, you, um, with this, I'm going to do a die. I'm just going to die cut butterflies and if you know me you know it's my favorite thing but I really want it to just kind of be oh I have an idea get ready for it tell me what you think let's decide which one we're gonna do I think this is going to be like only a partial butterfly off the side. That's what this card's going to be. That and then another one on here. But I want to do that. So we'll cut the whole thing. And one that will layer in here. And then we'll go from there. Okay, let's find something super contrasty to that background. Super contrasty to that background. And, ooh, look, but that's for stamping. We need something that has some artwork on it. 
I think one of the black ones. I'm going to do a black one out of this. That right there. And then something that will layer on top of it. I'm going to do one out of that. We'll test it. And then let's look. What other patterns do we have? Oh, that could be fun too. Off that sheet. Okay. We're going to cut two out of that size. See you later, Sherry. Um, thank you for joining me. As always, it has been super fun. I hope you have enjoyed yourself. Okay. Um, let's cut what I need out of here. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm cutting it off camera. Look at that. See with gold? <gasps> Lovely. And I'm going to cut a butterfly out of that. And because I'm not cutting the whole thing, I will do like that a little bit. There. Okay, put my die down on here. I just want to make sure I get some blue where you will see it if I layer another one on top. That looks good. And see if I have enough pressure on here or I have to shim that. I don't know if that cut right through. Oh, it did. Look how pretty. Look at that magical butterfly. Oh, I love it. And then we will cut a blue one. I think this blue, I'm going to go with that blue, but try to find a super textured area. So I'm going to cut it out of there. Okay, out of this piece. Ooh, I love that. Vicky. Love it. So I hope the thing that happens is if you did not do any of the gel plate printing that you are now inspired to uh, possibly try it. Look at it. <gasps> Love that. Okay, let's move the stuff and do the things. Move the stuff and do the things. Uh, I have to say one of my favorite things are one of my favorite things is are things are uh, layered dies. Um, I could have them in every shape possible, and I think that we've got away from just basic shapes. Are you need them in your repertoire? Just basic shapes are definitely required for some amazing crafting. See you later, Jennifer. You know it's going to be a late one tonight when Vicky says, hey, let's make five cards. So thank you, as always, for sticking around as long as you guys do. So look at this is going to go on here. Totally love it. And then we can do something where it goes flat and is lifted. Like that. And then this guy can go on there too. Centered, flat, and lifted. I think that that is going to make that interesting. And we could put a banner from behind it. We'll decide, but totally loving that. Flat and then lifted. And then can think about for the sentiment. But I love that. 
Love that. Now to tie some of the blue in, I'm gonna grab a stencil and I am going to add a little bit of that blue into my background to carry it in or look at, I don't have to grab a stencil. I have my stamp here. Let's go with the stamp. So I'm gonna literally do like a little rectangle of pattern right here, like that, in a light, light blue, a light, light, light blue, or a darker blue. Look at this could work. Um, faded jeans, I think, could actually work beautifully. I will be putting these in my store as well when I get back and can do all of the things that need to be done. So I am going to stamp that side of the stamp. And that will give us a little definition. Because sometimes you want to see the pretty art. You don't want to throw a mat down. You want to throw some color down. Then that's when you want to stamp a background stamp or a stencil. So now let's just hope Vicki lines this up straight. I don't want to have a ton of cleanup. So I'm going to do that. I put my tape. It is a disaster. What's it look like on your desk when you're crafting? Are you super tidy crafter or do you like you're like, ah, I can't find it. It was just in my hand. Now where is it? Are you that kind of crafter? This is a big mother. So to line it up. Ish is going to be fine. I want it to come down like that. I think it looks pretty straight. And now we're going to hope for the best. Hi, Lisa. I'm using the archival inks because I'm stamping on top of uh, paint, acrylic paint. So if I use Distress, it's going to wipe right off. So I'm going with archival because I know that it will work on acrylic paint. So that is why I'm pulling out my archivals because I know it will dry and work on my acrylic paint. Look how fun that is. So I will hold that up closer to the camera. And then this piece I can also use later as well. But look at that little hint of blue. And if you wanted to ink a little bit in there, you could, but I like that. That has a really pretty kind of little finish on there, right? And now, oh yes, that was perfect. So I'm going to add my butterfly flat and popped. And then, oh, I'm gonna put it in far enough. What do you guys think? So I could have a full butterfly for the layering one. Or, no, I like that, don't you think? It's gonna go right there, and then that guy right here. And I could totally tie twine between, if I wanted to. Should we put some twine on there? But let's attach this guy on here so I can trim the extra off. Sometimes I want to make sure the edge is sharp, so I'm going to cut it in my trimmer. Sorry, deep in concentration. That's when you know when Vicky stops talking. 
because I'm concentrating, doing the concentrating thing. I love that. Right? And then this guy can layer on here. Totally love that. Um, and then I want something. I could staple it in the center. But we want something that. And the other thing we're going to do. Take my ruler. I'm going to do that. Make sure it's glued. Right there. Okay. Do, 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 do. So I'm going to put those on here and then I am going to snip like this, only half the backing. So I'm snipping half the backing of my pop dot and I'm going to layer a half like that. I wonder if that would stick right on there. I think it will. I don't even have to take that. I could just stick it on here. Look. Oh, love it. So this is going to be very thick. Does that bother you? What do you guys think? Yeah, I might not do that. I lied. It's too thick. Even for me who likes thick cards. I'm okay with that though. Hi Don, how are you? Okay, let's keep going here. I'm very impressed with how many of you are still here. Because this is one of Vicky's, uh, what do you call them? Marathon crafting lives. Love that. So that is going to go on here like that. For right now, I'm just gonna put a bead of glue, let it dry, and then I could staple or do whatever. Let's staple it. Let's just do a staple. Ooh, even better, you ready? Let's see if I can find something over here. Oh, ho, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. So I need to find do 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 because I have to find anyway um, what I am trying to tell you guys, but maybe I have one. Maybe all of the things are gonna happen tonight just the way I want it to. So, guess what I'm going to do through the center? I think he's going to get very artsy. And if I can find, if I have gold beads, I do have them. They just might not be in there. I'm going to stitch. Oh, I have silver. That'll be fun. I'm getting crazy tonight. Although I don't know if they'll go through this needle is too thick. So what my idea is going to be, I'm just going to have to find the things that I need. Is I am going to stitch beads in the middle of that. This is going to be very artsy card. So what is going to happen is I'm going to take that. And I am through the body of the butterfly. is going to have a beaded body, if that makes sense. So I am going to sew that right on here with a string of beads. I just have to find them. Okay, friends? So that is what's going to go on there. 
I'm going to be very artsy and I'm going to sew a body of beads, but these are spacers. They're not in there because I decided I was going to be a jewelry maker and I spent hundreds of dollars on beads, but Vicki has no free time to be a jewelry maker. But I know in here there are, I just have to find the gauge of a needle that's thin enough and I will do the thing. So that is coming friends. And I will show you the finish of that, okay? I'll show you the finish of that. But that is what I'm going to do, is I'm going to sew through the butterfly some beads. And for right now, let's just tack her down. And then that will go like that, lined up in the middle, and like that. Okay, so that's what's going to happen on this card. And then I will share it with you guys on my socials and on Vicki Booten Creative Community. But that is what's going to happen. And then that's going on there. So if I sew it, before I put it on, I could pop that up. But look how pretty that is. And then I will put some kind of sentiment on there. Okay. So that one will have to. The Oh, look at gold thread. Maybe I could just look at the thread is gold on here. What do you guys think? Should I put the beads on or just sew it? Beads or sew it. Because look how the gauge of this needle. I'm going to have to find a much thinner one to sew the beads on. I want the beads now. And Vicky wants what she wants, right? So I'm going to set that aside. But just know that's what's coming. That's what's coming. And then I have to figure out sentiments. Does anybody struggle with placing their sentiments? Because Vicky does a little bit. I love this one. I love that. Background makes me so happy. Do we want to do this uh, card in a horizontal configuration? Do you want me to do that with this one? Mm -hmm. right holly beads you've come this far i just have to like i i would be oops, talking to you guys and walking around my room trying to find them so i won't do that live but you know where it's going because now i have to find the beads and i know i have i have tons of seed beads so i just have to find them and then the body's going to be beaded it'll be so much fun now for this one I would like to do flowers, I think. Are we okay with that? And I feel like I'm just going to do a cluster of flowers right here and a sentiment. What do you think? Cluster of flowers and a sentiment. So um, that's what's going to happen here. Guess what? And we'll stamp them. Stamp them and die cut them out of one of the backgrounds. I love it. And it's going to be so good. And then one of the things I did yesterday, so I have this black craft foam, right? Double uh, or adhesive back craft foam that I glued a sheet of black cardstock to. So guess what? I can cut my sentiment right out of that and it's going to run the length of that card. I'm going to find something big, long with a cluster of flowers right here. So let's do the things. What color do we want? Ooh, let's decide what we want to stamp on. Do we want to keep it hot? I can stamp, uh, let's stamp one. We'll stamp one in the pink-ish area. And then we could also stamp on, so the pink for sure. I would like something in the blue. Should we pull this one out again? And then we have that pink, the purpley. Oh, I love it. Let's do it. Thank you, Yvette. And you know what? I love hanging out with you guys when we do these lives. And I love that you enjoy it. Because otherwise I'd be just standing here talking to myself, which anybody who knows me knows that that isn't far from what could happen. It could happen. So let's do this one. I'm going to stamp in black. 
let's do a tester to see if I think there's not too much detail in this stamp. I think we can get away with it. So let's try it. So I want the biggest one to be in the hot pink. And let's do it. And again, remember, I'm going to stamp an archival. I'm stamping in black because there's a, lots of other, well, not archival, it's Gina K. Amalgam ink. I'm going to test it because it is a brand new stamp. Looks good. I don't even care if it's perfect, friends. Doesn't really matter. It adds to the character. So I am going to stamp in between these pinks so that I have options. Oh, I love it, right? Oh! So we know we need to die cut that. So let's just cut it out. Okay. Oh, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Okay. So I am going to stamp on the blue to give it a little rub. Anchor up. Perfect. I don't want yellow in this one. I'm going to go in to kind of the blue-ish section. Okay. I love it. It almost looks kind of denim-ish. And if we don't like that a ton, I'm going to do another one in the light blue from before. Because I might like this one better. So I'll have two options, right? And the only reason I say that is because it might um, not have enough contrast. There we go. Kind of digging it on that yellow. And let's do a little one in the purpley pinks. Thanks for still sticking around. There's still a lot of you. We've lost about 40 just recently, but that's probably because it's 1020 p.m. And this is how Vicky rolls. We know it, right? I'm having fun, so I just kind of keep going. Good. We'll grab a sentiment die and let's cut the things out. There we go. Okay, so we have those. I'm going to probably stamp a couple leaves, maybe, might not need them on this card, 
And let's find a sentiment. I don't know if, oh, I did grab some. What do we want to put on here? Just thanks. All to new. Eek. It's on there. Oh, I like that. Thanks. Okay. So let's cut these out. And we'll cut our sentiment out as well. How we doing? Is anyone playing along with me tonight? I'm a night crafter. I don't mentally wake up until uh, 3 p.m. I know, right? Hello, Brienne. Oh, is there another troll? Oh, my goodness. Sorry. Like I told you, right? I block them. And they come back on another one. So annoying. Hi, Irene. Of course you're playing. Irene is a rock star crafter. Getting down and dirty. I need little snippers. I don't wreck my scissors, but I'm going to go in. I need my little Tim Holtz scissors, right? I don't care if I wreck these. I've got 12 million. Oh, I could wreck the dies though. Don't judge. Okay, I need snippers, but maybe I have some. In my jewelry drawer for the jewelry I don't make. There we go. Snipper. There we go. I should have had this all prepped before um, I got on here, but... We were having supper because Vicky often does not eat on Friday nights. So I did this tonight. There we go. Do, 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 do. I know that I will end up doing some more with these cards when I'm not live, right? When I can think about it a little bit more. What are you practicing brush lettering? Very nice, Daisy. Okay, that's good enough for now. You're going to sleep now, Dandy. Okay, here we go. We'll cut the things. I know I'm going to like this color on there because it's perfect. And the blue. Don't know yet about the pinky purple, but we'll decide. So, right, I have this piece of craft foam that is covered in cardstock. So I can cut my sentiment out of there and it will be dimensional without a ton of work, which is my gem. I don't have to wrestle with it Go through a couple times. And now I will have a dimensional sentiment without, might have to glue it again. We'll see. Backing came off. Burp, burp. See, it's 
all poppy. But I have to glue it again. My glue's come off, but I will do that. But what would be a great idea, too, is you could put your cardstock on the back side of it, on the adhesive side. I should have cut it a few times. Anyway, so I will peel that off in a second. And I will glue it again because it's all coming off. It's all coming off. It all worked yesterday. But I must not have glued that section very well. So I will just glue it back on there. We'll glue it back on. Oopie! Throwing stuff on the floor as we do. Look at, I'm not even going to fight it for this one. I will just use the foam. Okay. And now let's die cut our shapes. Okay, Vicki. Oh, no, it's not in the first shot. Second shot. There we go. And it is a little sticky. I am the uh, worst person for using my share sale links. You know, I do these Friday nights all the time and uh, you would think I'd get on the ball and have them posted. Nope. Vicki doesn't do the things because I'm usually working right up until I come on here, make supper, and then I roll in here with just kind of uh, whatever in a dream. What is that saying? Tell me that something in a dream because it is not, there's like not a ton of prep. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun. Because I work all week long, all, all week, all weekend, but I decided I'm taking tomorrow off, tomorrow afternoon at least, and I'm gonna go sit by the pool. Because if I don't, um, if I don't take care of myself, I'm not going to have anything left for you guys. That's how I look at it. Because I, I would work seven days a week. But if I don't recharge my batteries, I'm not going to be good to anybody, right? I'm trying to teach myself. See, that's me saying it. So I actually, uh, a wing and a prayer. Thank you. Um, so I actually do it tomorrow, but we'll see if it happens. I don't know if it will actually end up happening, but if I say it out loud, right? See, it's still in there. Me and Ed. Okay, where'd you put? Oh, there it is. It happens when they're clear. Can't even see it. Kind of graffiti-ish. That's what this reminds me of. A little kind of graffiti vibe going on. There we go. So what my thought is, is we have our thanks.
concentrating again, right? So you're like, Vicki, you're so quiet. Need to have my tweezers out. I don't know where they are though. Because my fingernails are done and they are not for grabbies, right? Can't grab with them. So my thought is now layer the flowers in the corner. Just have like a little business going on like that. And then I'm going to trim the edges off. I like it. See you later, Kari. Right? That's so true, Don. It's like, I don't know what I'm going to use. One day, maybe I'll be super planny girl. But um, that is not today. I'm not super planny girl today. That is a fact. Do, 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 do. I've lost my adhesive. There it is. Are you impressed, Julie? Because we've talked about this for years where I'm like, nah, I don't really make cards. I'm not a card maker. And now look at me doing the things. Never say never. Right? Never say never. Yep, that will work for me. that guy down Just curling them up I'm gonna cut part of that off That'll work for me again. There we go. Look at that, friends. And I think, let's see. Now there's leaves that go with this, but I'm going to test something. Let me just find a green I want to punch from. I love this punch. I will be stocking these. I have lots of them here. Oh, I love that. Love it. I am very happily. So if you guys, is anybody um, out there, paper crafter, scrapbooker, but do, doesn't make very many cards? I'm telling you, I'm converted. I am digging the cards. Digging the cards, the other thing tonight, totally digging the texture from these printed papers. When you cut them down and you make the art from them, I don't know, it's something kind of magical. Look at that. And then I'll embellish. But from the craft foam, this is perfect. It has the adhesive, it's on there. 
I'll jazz them up with something, but totally love that. Love that. Yes, I will be stocking these in my store. I have, um, I love this punch. Um, all the punches, I pretty much am using the scallop one I used tonight. I have all of them I'll be putting in my store. But see, I'm going to put a gem in the middle of these. Um, I might put a little tiny subtitle, maybe. We'll decide. And then look at what else we made tonight, right? So I'm going to bead the middle of this card. I'm going to bead it and then get, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think the sentiment is just going to be a strip right underneath this. Just a plain, very simple. I don't think this needs a lot. I just like the art that's going on there. This one, the little right, funny, you make my heart and I'm going to put happy on the inside. And then we have this one, which could go either way, whatever you want to do. And then our flowers that we hand drew. What's your favorite? So I'm going to do that in case you want to freeze the or pause the video and take a closer look. There's that one. There is this one. There is this one. And this guy who's not finished, but I will share when that's done. But I love that. And this guy. Right? I think they're super fun. And the other thing that, you know, you guys could do is any of this could go in your scrapbook pages. It could go in a mini album. It could go in your art journal. You could just make the backgrounds and not do anything with them. Right? But I want to know. Are you inspired to try any of these if you didn't do any of it before? So some of my gel plates, I definitely, I'm just trying to, so I can talk to you guys for a minute. Some of my gel plate prints, I, here I am. Hi. Some of my gel plate prints, I will never do anything with them. I just love the art. So the process of making it, I love, but um, I think I could, like this might be a thing this might be a vicky thing because i didn't even this this is all pretty straightforward these weren't really elaborate cards but i could see doing a lot more paper piecing and doing some amazing things here so i love that girl i'm about to pull my gel plate but it's almost 11 pm you go to bed Je uh, uh, natalie and you pull that out tomorrow i haven't used my gel plate in a long time i love it right I have tons of prints. Like, look how many cards I could make out of that. And uh, if you have just some amazing stamps to use, there you go. Like I said, I know for a fact I'm going to be making some exclusive stamps, stencils, and dies because I have visions of sugar plums danced in her head. I have some ideas of what I think would be fun for kind of pulling the artsy look into the stamps that would go then with the gel plate prints and our mixed media backgrounds. So it's coming. That's I said, I got to just finish cleaning the basement, getting the grab boxes done, getting the kits all done. And then that will be my next thing. So the plan, are you ready for it? Will be starting in the new year. I plan on having a whole um, exclusive sets of stamps, stencils, and dies. I have so many ideas. I just need to have the time to do the things. So Natalie, I will be reaching out to you because there's things that that's what I was calling to talk to you about. Um, so be ready for it, friend. Uh, but so much fun. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go live next Friday. I, I might take next Friday off because I am traveling crazy to Utah and back. So I may, um, I may uh, take next Friday off. Okay, friends. So uh, just know that that next Friday might, I might not be here, but guess what? I hope that you pull your gel plate out and you could just watch this, these last two videos again, right? And do it. So any questions? Do you have any um, questions? 
about tonight or gel plate printing or any of the cards that I did or, you know, anything you want to talk to me about. So much to do in so little time. True facts, Charlene, true facts. I have so many things I want to do. Hi, Jill. Um, if you make dies and stamps, I will want them all. I love it, Jill. Um, well, and I'm going to hand draw it all. That's the whole thing is I really have some ideas. So thank you, friend. You are super supportive. And I am very grateful and thankful for that. So thank you very much. Good night. Thanks all. See you later, Joan. Um, I think I'll be bubble printing with your granddaughter. I love that, Evelyn. Do it. Do it, right? Just wondered how you like the tape runner you're using. I love it. This one, Easy Runner. I love it. And this is why I carry these in the VickiBooten.com shop because my favorite tools and the things that I like to use are what I carry. I like it. I am quite happy with it. You have to be, it can get a little tricky. You just be careful with how you use it. And I totally love it. Any progress on black paper? I got the final sample, but it will not release. The black foundations paper will not release until the collection I'm working on right now, unless they change their mind for some reason. But at this point, I think it's going to release with the collection that will come out in 2023. So I did get a sample I settled on. Um, I like it. I think you guys are going to love it, but it will not come out when they say it will. Neither will the stencil brushes because they pack them all wet, with the paint wet and it all dripped inside the packaging. So by the time now they have to remake all of them, um, it will come out with my next release. So, so, you know, black foundations paper, new stencil brushes, not until um, the release next year. Why did you stop making your stamp die sets that came with the zipper pouch? Just curious. Uh, price, the price point on them. Um, so I went to just stamps. I don't do the dies with American crafts. Uh, it's price point, right? And um, because the stamps aren't polymer, like they're not the uh, really sharp, uh, better quality stamps that I don't think people wanted to pay the price for the stamp die set. So that's why. Uh, do you apply your eyelashes yourself or I have them done because remember I got really terrible eczema this past winter and I couldn't wear any makeup and then I didn't want to scare everybody when I came on here. But let me tell you, there's a lot of upkeep because it's every three weeks. So, um, I wouldn't recommend it unless you're in for the long haul. Uh, any other questions? Where will the cruise after Alaska be to? Where do you want to go, Vicki? I haven't booked it yet. I was talking to them. I have to make a plan. Greece, do you guys want me to look into Greece for the next cruise? Um, that would be Alaska. Well, I'm doing um, Australia. I have those cruises. So what about 2024? Do we want uh, early part of the year uh, Caribbean? And then the latter part of the year, Greece, we could look at that. We could do, I haven't done Greece, so that could be a fun one. For 2024, I would like to do a Caribbean one because I like those that they're um, easier to get to and they're not as expensive. And then um, we could do one in Greece. I could totally, I'll look into, I can look into Greece. Uh, if you guys thought think you'd be um, interested in that. Your old stamps and dies are awesome. Thank you. I do. I love them. But I have to look at it. Hello, Michelle, my friend. Are you like, is, am I ever going to hear from Vicky? Seriously, my friend? Yes, I will be talking to you um, soon. And poor Natalie, too. I haven't got back to her. Uh, I just need a handler guys know that I just need somebody who just does all the things for me and just tells me where to go. So yeah, Caribbean. And then um, I think that's what I'm going to look at. So I think they're just releasing dates. So I will reach out to Cruise and Crop, my friends there, um, uh, Sherry and Sarah, and we'll start looking at some dates and some itineraries. So I'll let you know, I'll give you a heads up that when it's going to go live, and then you guys all have a running start because the max we can do, depending on the boats, 
are between 25 and 50. And that is the max that I can get in the crop rooms, depending on what boats uh, for each destination. So just know that, right? Please come and visit us in South Africa. I would love that. I would. I was invited many times when they used to have their big crafting events in South Africa, but it was always when the kids were going back to school. So I had to decline and now I need to come, right? Now I need somebody who's doing those events. I need to come back. I wish I lived next door to help be your helper for lives. It's not the lives that I need. It's the, the other stuff, the fulfillment and all of the other things so that I can do the crafty artsy development things. Right. But it's all good. So um, I think that's it for tonight. Thank you, as always, for joining me. That was a lot of fun. I will post uh, the end results when I kind of play around with these a little bit more and put some sentiments and finish them up. But I love that. And I hope you are inspired to try some gel plate printing and then make some cards or whatever your heart desires from your prints. Don't just leave them in a big stack. When you cut them down and it's contained funk, they really do pop even more so than just as a print on their own. So thanks so much. We'll see you later. Remember, I think I'm going to take next Friday off and then I'll be back the following Friday. And I think we're going to do the tag book, the Sweet Rush tag book. So watch, I'm going to get those kits posted. Like I said, I have very few of them, but everything I have in that kit for the tag book is what I'm going to use for the free class. So be watching for that. I'll send a newsletter out and post it on all my socials. So have a wonderful evening, friends. That was a lot of fun. And um, I'll see you guys in two weeks. All right. See you later, guys. Have a good weekend. And if you're watching after the fact, hi, uh, I hope you enjoy this and just make some time to craft. It's really important. We'll see you guys later.